gonna go ahead and do a little video. I've been looking around trying to find some uh, information on the uh, the coolant sensors on a LT1 5.7 GM. This is a Buick Roadmaster 94 model, but uh, they put the same engine in some of the Camaros, uh, Impalas, and so forth. The LT1. A little different is a lot different than the regular uh, 5.7 but uh, everybody thinks that this sensor right here is the uh, the coolant temperature sensor that controls the gauge and everything inside which is not this sensor here turns on the electric fans it sends a signal to the fuse block there's a relay in there turns it on well this one here then a lot of people's not doing any uh, coverage on this coolant temperature sensor but where it's actually located at on this particular model of 5.7 is on the passenger side of the head it's in the head between six and eight if I can get down there it is right there between cylinder six and eight that is your controls your temperature gauge inside the car and your if you've got a hot light it controls it but this one that's what was giving me problems it's my wife's car actually but uh, it was sending a false signal I thought the car was running hot replaced the uh, thermostat took the old thermostat out took it in the house got an old pot put water in it put it on top of the cook stove and put a, um, a temperature uh, reading probe down inside of there and once it hit 180 degrees you'll see it slowly open up which is what it's supposed to do I pulled it out running under some uh, the faucet water it closed back up which it's supposed to I put it back in the hot water again it opened back up so that was good but anyway, I've already replaced it anyhow, so so be it. Uh, but if you guys get a uh, a hot light or your the, the temperature gauge started out normal, went up to about three or about a quarter of the way up, then it went up to a half, then all of a sudden that thing just pegged all the way over, and the light came on and just doing all kind of crazy stuff. Well, here is the old one that I took out, which I broke the. Uh, the little plastic tab that the wires snap on but this is it right here this is what was a uh, given the false readings I put a new one of these in which you seen it in the head drove around my neighborhood went down fueled it all up and uh, then uh, took it on the interstate uh, went all oh, about three miles down to the next uh, exit ramp did a little turn around got back on come back another three miles and then drove another three miles back to home and the uh, the needle inside is showing right at a quarter quarter of the way up you got cold here it's showing right there won't move any further so ain't no more of this crap jumping over here sending a false signal when I went and checked the car when she told me it was running hot of course I opened the hood and of course I you know kind of tapped it like that and it's what's well, about like it is now I mean about 180 degrees and uh, it wasn't hot so I said but I wanted to make sure didn't want to take a chance on you know blowing the engine blowing a head gasket or something like that running one hot but uh, if you guys have problems you know with your LT1 and don't know where your coolant temperature sensor is look in the head now the head on this particular car uh it's on the between six and eight but now some of the gms they could have put that head over on the driver's side which then it would have been back toward the back back there um so well, actually it would have been toward the front up here between one and two but because they use that head on the passenger side it becomes cylinder six and eight but just want to give you guys hope it helps you all because you know there I just couldn't find enough information out there trying to locate them sensors 
but uh, it fixed my problem and I hope it does for you and uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you like it uh, like and share uh, subscribe check out a few other videos I got going on but uh, y'all have a good day and I hope it helped you